Hey guys, it's Pineapple with my experience with dimple cheek piercings. Um, so basically, I got my cheeks pierced about two months ago. Um, it was around the last week of October. It is now December 25th. Um, so just a couple of things that I wanted to talk about that I don't think it talked about enough when it comes to dimple cheek piercings. So number one, I do vape. I'm actually at zero nicotine. Um, I was at zero nicotine when I got my dimple cheek piercings, and this really hasn't affected how they've healed as far as I think. Um, I'm not a professional, but this is my experience with dimple cheek piercings. Um, so one thing that I haven't heard anyone really talk about when it comes to dimple cheek piercings is mouth guards. So I grind my teeth excessively at night. Um, and so I wear a mouth guard every single night. Um, as you guys can see since my last video, I've actually gone down in size again, which is working out great. So I personally think I should have waited until like the two month mark um, before I downsized or at least really close to it um, because I'm not having as many difficulties with the shorter post, there's not as much swelling, um, but I will talk about what's going on over here in just a second. Um, so, mouth guard. So, I use a really super cheap mouth guard from um, Walgreens. You can get them at CVS. I prefer the ones at Walgreens because I get two of these for like 20 bucks and I chew through them pretty quickly. Um, so, there's that. And, um, so I usually wear it up on the top and it causes like, you know, bulging and stuff. Um, so I've tried a couple of different kinds. When I first got my dimples done, I had just, um, it's basically like three prongs on each side or sometimes they come flat and it's a thin plastic part that goes over the top of your teeth and you just kind of clamp down and they're disposable. I bought a kit of those for hygiene purposes so that I could easily dispose of them. Um, so you like buy a pack of these disposable ones and I would throw it away like every two days just for the sake of germs and trying to make sure that my piercing healed healthily and with as little bacteria festering as possible. Um, typically what I do is I soak my, um, my mouth guards in a, um, a um, hydrogen peroxide um, in like a plastic cup or in the Petri dish that it comes in. Um, or comes with um, because I sanitize them every single day while I'm at work before I come home again germs that was before I even got the dimple cheek piercings um, so what I noticed is that because of where mine are placed um, it didn't matter what I did the inside of my cheek piercings would rub against the the silicone or whatever it is that my mouth guards are made out of and so it would cause irritation on my piercings. Um, so I finally went back to the piercer, not the one that did it, but another piercer at the shop where I got my cheek piercings done, um, who also has cheek piercings and kind of had her assess the situation. Um, we talked about the mouth guard and what options we could come up with. What I decided to do because my, um, my cheek piercings kind of rest on the inside of my teeth, like not on them, obviously, but they're kind of like in my bite line, as some people might say. Um, I don't really bite on them very often when I'm eating now that they've healed really well and my mouth has gotten used to them being there, sort of. Um, so basically, um, I decided to do something really interesting. So for two days, um, what I did was I reheated my mouth guard and I molded it to the bottom half of my mouth instead of the top. Um, that way there's like all this, there's like this much space, you know, where my piercing isn't touching anything. And because this kind of bulges my cheeks out, um, it makes it so that the piercings aren't rubbing against my face and stuff. Um, and so 
what I found was that uh, the ledge of these actually usually have like a little curve right here, which is supposed to make up for that uh, webbing that you have right there um, and end it. And what happens is that it's kind of like tilted. I don't know if it got tilted from when I originally molded it or what, but um, what it was doing was it was irritating the inside of my gums like a lot. Um, and so what, what happened after that is that then this piercing, which usually kind of rubs on my gums typically, um, started feeling way more uncomfortable and it's just like all raw and like really uncomfortable, um, on the bottom of my gums. So tonight I decided to try something different. I actually cut off that excess. And so now... Uh-huh. As you can see, it's no longer rubbing against the bottom of my gums. It's not tucked into my gums. Um, so that's what I would suggest. If you use a mouth guard, I would turn it upside down, remold it to the bottom of your mouth, and trim off the excess right here so that it's not rubbing against the inside of your gums. And so that's my solution um, for sleeping with a mouth guard with dimple cheek piercings. Um, yeah. And so what has happened for me in the last couple of months is that for whatever reason, this piercing is just, it's not pointed out as straight. It's more like kind of tilted, if that makes sense. So instead of it being like this, like a straight line, I guess, like that, it's more of a curve out from the piercing. Um, and so for me, what that means is that it's at an angle. So one, it's always irritating my face. And then for two, it's not allowing um, the sebum or any other stuff that's going on in there to really properly drain. Um, so what I have chosen to do um, before I just give up and take the piercing out because this side is actually doing really well. I actually um, got what appeared to be like a pimple on um, the very inner side of this and um, that popped and spooged a little bit and it was kind of gross but it's healed up really well. And on this side as you can see I've got this little pocket here um, and so basically what's in there is is what's trying to become sebum um, it's like bodily fluids um, there's definitely a little bit of blood um, that's in there and so what I have chosen to do and this is not something that I suggest to anyone else this is for me because I'm really committed to trying to keep this piercing um, tonight well I've upped my soaks I had kind of cut back and started using the all-natural naked face wash um, in the mornings and then soaks at night um, because I wasn't getting a lot of discharge coming out. There wasn't a lot of sebum coming out. Um, and that's been the case because my, my piercing is really trying to heal itself. Um, so what I chose to do tonight is I did a soak. I did about a 10 minute sea salt and distilled water soak. Um, and then when I was done, I kind of just took a Q-tip and rubbed it very gently like rolled it on that pocket of skin almost like massaging it um and little bits of that sebum that's that's kind of forming in there was able to seep up through the crevice um of my piercing and so I used another q-tip while I'm like you know turning it massaging it used another q-tip to dab off the sebum um slash blood deposit um, to drain it. My biggest concern is the less that I drain my piercing, the more of a chance that I have of it, one, getting infected, and two, if that stuff has nowhere to go, it's, it's going to fester, I'm assuming. Now, I am not a doctor. I am not a piercer. I'm just telling you from, from what I know, um, if that stuff isn't able to get out, it could get really bad. Um, so I'm really happy that I've, I upped my soaks and I finally got it, got something to come out. Because it was at the point where I think I went to see my piercer or the I went to the piercing shop on... 
I want to say Sunday, Sunday, maybe Monday, and it's now early Thursday morning. Um, so about three or four days ago, and in that three or four days, I didn't get any sebum out of my face at all on this side. Um, so it's starting to get really concerned and really worried. Um, and so now I've gotten some out. It hasn't gotten any bigger. There's definitely some discoloration you're going to see. And this side is perfect. It's indented. It's great. It's amazing. I love it. Um, this side is just being being trouble. So um, we're going to keep an eye on it. We'll see what happens. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it all the way to two years. And that's okay if I don't. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'll have beautiful little dimple scars either way. Um, so that's the journey so far. So remember, you know, if you wear a mouth guard, make some adjustments. Um, and every time that you think something's wrong with your piercing, I have been to the piercing shop at least once a week since I got these done. Um, just to have them checked on, looked at, downsized, upsized, downsized again, upsized again. Um, and so it's been an adventure, but I love the way that they look. So I'm really dedicated to making them last. So um, I just got off work a couple of hours ago. It's like almost two in the morning where I live now. I'm going to bed. Um, and I'm going to try to stay off of this side and, and get a good night's sleep. So thanks for watching and good night.